What if I told you that there was a God who was described as having been born of a virgin, heralded by a star, attended by angels and visited by wise men, who had 12 disciples, who died to save the world, who was called by his followers the way, the truth, the life, who after he ascended from the grave on the third day, his followers would celebrate him every Lord's Day, Sunday, by celebrating a Lord's Supper. What if I described that God to you? Would you be inclined to tell me I'm describing Jesus? I think most people would. But what if I told you I'm not describing Jesus at all, I'm describing a Persian deity named Mithras, whose story begins 400 years before the birth of Jesus. There are lots of folks who don't even believe Jesus is a real historic figure in history. They think he's entirely borrowed from prior mythological stories like the story of Mithras or Osiris or Horus, all of whom they say sound a lot like Jesus. I'm gonna ask you, are, are you ready to be able to answer that kind of objection? Are you ready to answer the kinds of objections that are so popular in movies like Zeitgeist, The God Who Wasn't There? There's lots of movies and books that have been written about this. Are you ready to offer a response to that kind of objection? If you're not and your kids hear it the first year they're away at university, are they equipped to know if that's true and how to respond to that? If we don't take advantage of the opportunity we have now, to develop a forensic faith, our kids, we won't be ready, let alone our kids, to answer the most incredible and serious objections that are leveled by those who doubt us.